And now we are joined on the program by a senior lecturer of the University, sorry, of the Department of Geography, University of Lagos, Dr. Mayawa Bashanor. Thank you for joining us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you. Now, boundary disputes, not a new problem. Uh, where boundary, where communities on those boundaries have altercations and they, it has continued over the years. Why is this still a problem? Thank you very much. Um, boundary problem is one of those internal demons of security we have in this country. And it's everywhere from the north to the south. If it's not happening somewhere today, it's because there is still nothing to fight on. Land, water, oil, mineral resources, and so on and so forth. So, but you can also look at it from the historical perspective. The way we delineate our boundaries, I mean, typically for, I mean, follow some kind of fault lines, ethnic, religious, tribal, and so on and so forth. For example, if you look at our internal boundaries, I look at the local government, the, a map of the local government um, for the entire Nigeria. You will see how contorted some of these local governments look. So you wonder how or not we get to get those kind of boundaries. Mm. So in essence, right from the onset, when boundaries were delineated, I mean, key issues about geography, about economy, about space, were never considered. And if you compare our boundaries with boundaries um, in some of the developed world, you will discover that for some of those countries, we could actually put coordinates, four coordinates mm -hmm. on the boundary. I mean, and it's going to give you the boundary. But here, our boundary follows all those fault lines, ethnic, religious, and so on and so forth. And so they, becomes, uh, they become very contorted and it's very difficult to manage. However, that's what we have. So we just have to manage them. Speaking of managing it, how yeah. about security-wise now? You heard recently from the federal government about allegations of uh, people, marauders, coming in from over the boundaries and, and ma masquerading as herdsmen. Oh, yes. Uh, so, so how, does, and how can one realistically police our boundaries? Well, maybe we make a distinction here between the, international, between the local boundaries, internal boundaries, and the uh, international boundaries. They are not the same, and so the challenges and peculiarities are not the same. If you look at the international boundaries, um, um, uh, for example, we've not really been having much problem in terms of clashes, except maybe around the Cameroon um, area, uh, Benin Republic, and then the border in the north has maybe there is probably nothing to struggle for. But of course, the new dimension uh, of people uh, um, coming in, especially from the northern border, mm -hmm. is a very difficult thing. The key issue is that um, boundaries, for example, if you look at northern Nigeria, we have a very long boundary, over 1,000 1, kilometers. And if we could actually pinpoint how many of the border posts or how many of the border crossings are man, I remember those places are Savannah. So every, everywhere. So basically anyone room. can come over the oh, boundaries yes, yes. Which internationally. Means, exactly. So okay. we can, we do probably have to employ more technology. Um, the funding for that will be a, yeah, a the fund, gargantuan. The funding for that, uh, it has to, the federal government, because by national security is the primordial role of the federal government. And yeah. so one way or the other, the federal government will have to look for the fund, um, I mean, to be able to do that. But if we look at the local boundaries, <clears throat> the local boundaries, especially yes. between communities that causes all this clash, like I said, it has some kind of historical dimension. But we just can't throw everything to the National Boundary Commission because mm -hmm. if you look at the act that set up the commission, it's also to play the setting of, of the state Boundary Committee and the Local Government Boundary Committee. So you keep wondering each time that... Are those a operational? Oh, yeah, I don't know where they are supposed to. To be operational? Uh, yes, and that's okay. what government has to look, look at. Because each time there's a class somewhere, the people start looking to the federal government, everybody keeps shouting, government should come, federal government should come. Even the state government will tell the federal government. It shouldn't be that way. The local government is supposed to be able to manage at the community level. Then if it's out of hand and they can't handle it, it goes to the state level and then to the federal. That, I mean, the limitation has to be there. How much power do you think the National, the Boundary Commission has to take a second look at the boundary disputes internally as was called for by the federal government yesterday? Well, right, I, Professor Shibajo. 
I don't know how much of power they have. It depends. But Professor Shibado is the, uh, the vice president, is the chairman of the National Boundary Commission. So it's a, I mean, so they should have the power, they should have the executive power to be able to mobilize the government and so on and so forth, to be able to do that. Another thing I have to Finally, say Finally, sorry about, to interrupt yeah, you. Yeah. There's concerns about smuggling yeah. at the border, uh, an issue that the vice president raised. How can this be curtailed? Again, I think it goes back to manpower. I think it does. But all over the world, boundary area, especially international boundary area, is always a very big economic area. For example, if you look at a boundary with uh, Benin Republic, it's one of the most active, just like you have between the U.S. and Mexico. So that one can be curtailed. Maybe we need more power and so on and so forth, but you may never be able to completely, um, what do you call it, um, I mean, eliminate that. Another thing I want to say finally is about our land management. We have to look again at our land management because if we cannot even delineate, I mean, where somebody's person's property begins and ends. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. How, how much more are we going to talk about? That is exactly a the thought, issue. A thought for us to ponder. That is the issue. And we'll, we'll leave it there. Thank, thank you so you, much you for your much. expertise on the issue, sir. Thank, thank you very uh, much. The a senior lecturer from the Department of Geography, University of Lagos, Dr. Maiwa. Passion up.